Hey there, fellows. All right, check out this wonderful motor I've got here. Some of you might recall us rebuilding this Moskvich engine, getting it to run exceptionally well. As for where I'm going with this, well, I saw this video recently where a few guys made a a transparent cylinder head. They started the engine and could see all of the processes happening inside. As for this particular engine, the valves and other components are located down low. And this plate, I don't know what else to call it even. I mean, it is a cylinder head, but it's a very... a very primitive one. It has nothing aside from holes for mounting it and uh, some holes to fit the spark plugs into. Well, in the combustion chamber. You've got a distributor, some channels for the coolant, but we don't really care about any of that. Now look, right here I've got myself a piece of plexiglass, a rather thick one. It's actually just about the right size even. So our idea is to try this sort of experiment using instead of a one-cylinder, this sort of proper four-stroke four-cylinder motor. So we basically do a bit of milling, fit the head and start the engine. I mean, it definitely won't last long, but it is going to give us the chance to see the mixture getting ignited, as well as the valves opening and closing, the spark plugs firing away and all of that. So let's set this up and have a look then. Let's do this. Fellows, on behalf of the entire Garage 54 crew, I'd like to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And of course, don't forget to wish Happy Holidays to your own friends and relatives. Now, if you're looking for some cool gift ideas, check out the latest lineup of merch in our online shop. We're offering some trendy hoodies, neat-looking hats, baseball caps, an assortment of mugs and stickers, as well as an entire line of car accessories. Some of you were asking for kids-sized t-shirts, and now we got them. With some cool art. So treat yourself and your loved ones to some Garage 54 holiday goodness, Place an order before the new year and you'll receive a nice little extra surprise from me personally. Hit the link in the description and don't forget to use the code G2022, which is good for a solid discount. We see an engine run through a transparent cylinder head. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Here's the situation with our transparent cylinder head. So over there, we have the factory cylinder head. We've done some careful drilling to the plexiglass, then we made some outlines and carved out the combustion chambers. Now the thing with them is, they have reliefs through where the gases flow. I'm trying to say that it's not even. Instead, it's sculpted in such a way to ensure the combustion chamber has better flow. So what we did was take an air-powered rotary tool 
and carefully carve them out, sometimes even resorting to doing things by hand. I mean, it took a while, but we seem to have done a decent enough job. Now, unfortunately, the rotary tool is not going to give you a polished surface after your first go. Sometimes it'll burn the material or carve in too deep if you push too hard. As a result, we are finishing the job by hand. At this point, I'm already using 1000 grit sandpaper. And I think we started this off with an 80 grit. Or maybe 100, then it was 320, 600, 800, and now I'm using 1000. Once we're done with this, we do the final polishing. Right here we used to have a crack that we filled with some resin. But then the next morning after we did that, we were surprised to see that the resin did seep into the crack. But it also sunk quite a bit, meaning we'll need to apply some more and grind it down. Now we all know what goes on in there, but not many people have actually seen it. Now I'm fully aware that it might not last all that long, depending on mixture quality, how it's gonna combust, and whether the pistons throw up any oil. But then such a transparent cylinder head will allow us to see all of that very clearly. So let's finish grinding it, polish it, and commence the assembly. Let's do this. Okay, so in order to do this properly, the engine has been sitting for a little while cracked open without the cylinder head. We've decided to temporarily assemble it with the old iron head, with the intention of starting it and letting it run. For an oil film to form on the cylinders to get the compression up. Once we are done with that, we remove this head, install the transparent one, and run the engine with a see-through head to look at stuff happening inside. In the meantime, we'll be running it like this. We'll be using this for a starter. And all because, well, you see that old-style battery we got? With the exposed cell connectors. We've wired up half of it to get 6 volts, but there is not enough capacity to get a regular starter motor to spin up. So it has seen way better days. But we can use the 6 volts to power the ignition, and I'll use a power drill to turn the engine over. We looking good? Let's give this a try then. Fantastic! It runs. Exceptional! So it picked up the oil, we have fuel supply, so that's all looking good. But let's not get it too warm. Shut it off. What matters is it starts, and quite happily at that. So let's take the iron off, and fit the plexiglass. So we fitted the distributor. As for the plugs, we tied a ground wire to them, with plexiglass obviously not being able to conduct electricity. But now I expect this to work exceptionally well. Oh yeah, and the stock plugs for this motor, the threaded bit on that is short. And we've decided to go with some longer threaded ones, with plexiglass being less durable than iron. I mean, we could rip the thread out. Not necessarily, but we'll find out soon enough. So we've installed the plugs, and though they are used, but they'll ignite any mixture, no matter how rich or lean it may be. And that's nice. Let's fire it up already, because I am super curious to have a look. Okay, let's get to it. So we keep going until it starts firing, or... Well, yum. Yeah. 
There we go. Don't give it too much gas. Oh, this is so cool. Shut it off. Switch it off, Vlad. Wow, it actually works. And you can see everything. But look at this. The edges are getting hot and bubbling as a result. You see those tiny bubbles? Now obviously plexiglass isn't designed to withstand this sort of heat. But then we actually saw something. How the sparks were igniting the mixture, and how the engine was firing away. An idiot's dream comes true. No, I'm referring to something else. We need to do that again. Keep firing it up until failure. Or until the head melts and drips into the cylinders. So there you are, you can see everything that's going on in there. The combustion and how... The mixture enters the cylinders. This is very nice. It all works, and you can tell that cylinder 4 is misfiring. We do seem to have spark, but perhaps the valves are maladjusted. Or we didn't tighten the head down enough on that side. We were being careful with that to prevent the plexiglass from cracking. I mean, despite it being so thick, it's still a bit fragile. And so if it were to deform, the thickness wouldn't have helped all that much. This can still easily crack. Anyway, the point is that you have an excellent view, everything works, and it looks fan-freaking-tastic. It's so mesmerizing that you can sit here looking at it for hours on end. Right, let's start it some more. Okay, why don't we... Now, before we were only starting it for very short periods of time. That was to keep it transparent, but then we can already tell that it's deteriorating. There's some kind of impurity here. Oil from the looks of it. Wow, you really get a good view when you have such a good view. But let's go ahead and fire it up again, because... Whatever, let's just do it. Come on! I have a feeling the compression is gone. You can see that there was some blow by here, though I don't see that anywhere else.
So whether you're working the throttle or not, maybe we're low on gas? Pour some straight into the carby. Come on, pour it in. Now my starter is going 107%. We flooded it. But then we can see what it looks like flooded. Give it some gas. Oh, come on! What's wrong with it? Well, guys, we were able to make this work. It ran a number of times. We got it to start. But now, for some reason, it sort of works, but it's hesitating. We need to investigate. This very well might be a case of low compression. And then plexiglass ain't iron. But the fun part about this is how well you can see it all. How the mixture gets in there. How it combusts. Also, when the exhaust valves open, you can see how the products of combustion are flying out of the cylinders. It's all very curious. And what awesome footage we got of it. It is super cool when you can see everything so clearly. And this does open up certain possibilities. What exactly? Why don't you leave some comments suggesting what we can try? We can try observing the burning of propane, or perhaps acetylene. There are plenty of interesting options, so go ahead and write yours. We'll read them, have a laugh, and whip something up. Try and figure out how we can continue this. I mean, it is an interesting concept. And that's all I have for you, fellas. Watch us, subscribe. Send in your suggestions, comments, and that'll be all. Catch you guys later.